Hey guys, I'm going to help you out with Lesson 3's homework. Um, let's go ahead and look at this first one. It says, circle groups of tenths to make as many ones as possible. Well, let's look down at these place value discs. Here's one group of ten tenths, which will be the same as one. And then there's one, two, three, four extra. So all together it's ten and four, which will give us fourteen tenths. Now it wants us to redraw it using replacing ten of the tenths for a one place value disc. So I'm going to replace ten of those with the one. And then I'm going to redraw those other four tenth discs. Two, three, four. So in decimal form, there's one whole and four tenths would be 1.4. And how many more ten, uh, tenths would I need to get to two holes? So I need six tenths to get to two holes in order to make group those together and ten tenths to make another hole. Okay, on the next part, you uh, we're going to group together ten tenths to make holes. So it looks like I can make one hole here. And I can make another hole here. And then I have five left on the bottom. So altogether that's 25 tenths. But if I were to rewrite this using one place value disc, I could replace those two groups of 10 for just holes with the five tenths left over. Two, three, four, five. So in all together in decimal form, it's two ones and five tenths. It'd be 2.5. And we would need five more tenths to get to the next whole number, which is three. So I put 0 0.5 there. Okay, the next section has a little bit different instructions. They want you to draw the place value disk for the given value. And then they want you to show it in expanded form like they do down here. And they have an example right here, and we're going to follow that. So on B, it says five tens, three ones, and seven tenths. So I'm going to draw five ten place value disks. So one, two, three four, five, and I'm going to use different colors so we don't get confused. So these are the tens for the five tens. And I'm going to draw three one place value discs in green. And I'm going to do seven tenths in red, so seven tenths value discs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we're gonna have to write the new number in expanded form. So I have five 10 value disks. So I'm gonna say five times 10, because there's five of the tens. There's plus the three times one, because there's three ones value disks. And then I'm gonna say seven times uh, one tenth, or I could write it as 0 0.1, because they're the tenths. Uh, the tenths. I'm going to add that up. I'll get 53 and 7 tenths because 5 times 10 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3, and 7 times 1 tenth is 7 tenths. The second way they want you to write it is exactly the same except for when you get to the tenths. Instead of saying 7 times 1 tenth, I'm going to say 7 times 0 0.1, which will give you seven or 53.7, which is the same as 53 and 7 tenths. Okay, on part C, we're going to do the same thing again, just a different number. We have three tens, two ones, and three tenths. So I'm going to color code these again so it's easier to see. So I'm going to do three tens in blue. One, two, three. I'm going to do two ones. One, two. And I'm going to do three tenths discs. So I'm going to say one, two, three. Now when I go to write my equation, the only difference is gonna be when I do the tenth. So I'm gonna say three times 10, because I have three tenths, two times one, because I have two ones, and then I'm gonna say three times point one, which is in decimals form, so altogether it'd be 32.3. Or I could rewrite the exact same thing, except when I get to 3 times a tenth, I'm going to do it in fraction form. So I'm going to say 3 times 10 again, 2 times 1, and then 3 times 1 tenth. Because it's the same thing, just in a different form. So that will give me 32 and 3 tenths. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on D. 8 tenths, 4, 5 six, seven, eight. I'm going to do four ones. And 
and 8 tenths. It's kind of hard to see the point ones, but we get the point. Okay, now I'm going to rewrite them in expanded form both ways, the decimal way and the fraction way. I'm going to say 8 times 10 because there's 8 10 disks plus 4 times 1 plus 8 times 0 0.1, which is in decimal form. So it'll be 84.8 altogether. Then I can do it in fraction form. So I'll say 8 times 10 plus 4 times 1 plus 8 times 1 tenth, which will give me 84 and 8 tenths. Okay, whoops. Let's look at this last section. So basically they give you a chart and you have to fill in the missing pieces. So on uh, line A, they only give you um, the mixed number form, which is 4 and 6 tenths. So let's start filling in some of the missing pieces. I can write the decimal form, I know it'll be 4.6. Then I can look at the number line, well 4.6 is gonna be between four and five. And if I count over six tenths, I can plot it right here. An expanded form would be just what we've been doing. You could do it the de decimal way or the fraction way. So I'm gonna say four times one, we don't have to do anything times 10 because I'm not in the tens, plus six times 0 0.1 or 0 0.1, same thing. And then if I wanted to go to the next one, which would be five, I would have to go up four more tenths. So I'd write 0 0.4 there. All right, B, they're just giving us the number line. And it looks like there starts at 24. And if I count over, it's 24.5. As a mixed number, that would be 24 and 5 tenths. So if I wanted to do an expanded form like we did earlier, I would say two times 10. plus four times one, plus five times either one tenth, or you could do 0 0.1. And to get to the next hole, you'd have to go five more tenths up to get to 25. Okay, on part C, they just give you expanded form, and it looks like I have six tens, three ones, and six tenths. So it'd be 63.6, .6. that would be 63 and six tenths as a mixed number. It'd be 0 0.4 tenths or 0 0.4 to the next hole. And on the number line, it's going to be between 63 and 64. And it'll be 6 tenths over. So I'm going to count over 6. And it'd be right here. Okay, on part D, they give us 71 and 3 tenths. So that's going to be 71.3. And if I did that on the number line, it'd be 71, between 71 and 72. And it would be 3 spaces over because it's separated into tenths. In expanded form, I would do seven times 10. Oh, or you have to do seven tenths more to get to the next hole. In expanded form, it would be seven times 10, one times one, because there's only one, uh, one, plus three times one tenth. And you could write that either as a decimal or as a fraction. Okay, last one. They only give you the expanded form of 9 times 10 and 9 times 1 tenth. So really that'll be 90 and 9 tenths, which will be 90.9, which leaves one more till the next hole, one more tenth, so it'd be 0 0.1, and that puts it between 90 and 91. And if I count over 9 tenths, that'll plot it right there. Alright, if you have questions, let me know.